Okay, we're going to start um, with creating a company file here in, in QuickBooks Point of Sale version 10. And to do that, you're going to first go to File, then you're going to select Company Operations, and then you're going to click on Create New Company. And then the Create New Company window comes up. We're going to give a name for our company of Benny's Electronics. And now if this is a multi-store environment that you're setting up, uh, you'll label this as your headquarters store or your remote store. And if it's a remote store, you need to give it a number. For example, store number two, store number three, or store number four. We're gonna just gonna do a single, single store, headquarters store. We're gonna call it Benny's Electronics and cl click on Create. Now in the background, Quick, QuickBooks Point of Sale is creating a new database file. As it goes through this process, it may take a minute or it could take up to five minutes. So we're going to pause the recording while the new database file is created. Uh, the first step or the third step in the exercise is to go ahead and complete the setup interview. Um, and what, basically what we're going to do here is fill out the information how we want it displayed on our receipt. So here for Benny's Electronics, we put his, the name, address, the phone number, and then our receipt message. On our next tab, we set up our sales tax. We set that as, up as a rate. You have to put the rate that you charge, 5%, and the agency that you pay it to. So for exa example, we'll put in state sales tax. department. The next tab you can set up if you have um, already signed up for QuickBooks Merchant Services this is where you would go ahead and put yes and then you would go ahead and enter in your merchant ID number and click verify. On the following tab you'll set up all of your hardware. So you set up your printer for reports, your receipt printer, you would set up and test your cash draw your credit card reader. If you're required to have a poll display, you'd set that up. And if you want to allow customers to enter their PIN and use a pin, the PIN pad with their debit or ATM card, you can do that too. And then the final step completes your, your setup interview and really completes the final step of this quick exercise. So we're going to click done. And our company file is now set up. If you have any questions that weren't addressed in this demonstration and or in the handout that we provided on our website, please email them to us at info at bottomlinetaxservices.com.